Hello. Can Christians do what Jesus said we would do in Mark 16, 17 to 18, like drink poison, take up serpents? Some Muslims have given this passage to Christians and wanting them to drink poison and trick them. Isn't this the, it isn't the first time Muslims have been taking scripture out of context and certainly isn't the last. Let's have a look at the passage. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall sp speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, what do we say to this passage? First off, the passage is not meant for us Christians today. How do we know this? Notice the, the historical context. What I mean with, uh, with this is when Jesus said these words, he was not speaking to us, but to the apostles. We know Jesus didn't speak to us because we weren't there, but the apostles were right there in front of him. Did the apostles do these things? From what we know from scripture, they did. Acts chapter 19 verse 13 and Acts 8, 7, Paul casts out an evil spirit relating to that they will cast out devils. Acts chapter 19 verse 6, new believers spoke in tongues, which is obviously to they shall speak in tongues. Uh, Paul was bitten by a viper or snake in Acts chapter 28 verse 3. Could that possibly be a connection to the reference to snakes in taking up snakes? Possibly. And also notice the next part. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. If, not when. So we don't know any, there's nothing in scripture that they drank deadly poison. And it says if they did. No, we, we don't know any other, anyone, any apostle that did drink poison. And, and healing, Acts chapter 8 verse 7, Acts 28 verse 9, both done by Paul. So Paul, a new believer, is healing. So we see this passage was referring to the apostles, not to us Christians today. So when... Muslims read the Bible, Christians especially, because we Christians need to know the Bible. We need to read the Bible, the passage in context, historical context. Who was the speaker speaking to? And theologically, uh, does it connect with the theology of Christian theology? So thank you for listening and God bless.